Hello my friends, the world of software can often be confusing and maybe that's me, maybe it's you, it's definitely me. When I see so much out there and I have to know the differences, the intricacies of every single one, how I can help without getting lost in the, the static, right? There's a lot of noise out there as well. And I got my buddy Tim today. One of my favorite things to do is share stories to connect with you. We can give numbers and details and speeds and feeds and all these capabilities. And we will, don't get me wrong, we will. And a lot of that's on websites as well. But Tim has a story that I wanna share with you about percentages of savings that could really change profitability in your shop as well. Kind of like an insurance plan, isn't it Tim? Absolutely. So we have a customer that is cutting plates and they came to us with a issue on timing and this plate was costing them 276 hours to 300 hours of cut time, right? So we brought in NC Simo as a simulation optimization software. We ran it through there. We found out that we could save them 76 hours just by eliminating air cutting. So when you look at air cutting, and just eliminating that, 76 hours of inefficiencies in that program. 76 hours, and what was the original time? 276 hours. So you removed 76 hours from 200, and percentage-wise, you're working in percentages on a regular basis that are what on average to the people you work with? Typically, we see anywhere from 15 to 28, 30% savings 15 and that that also that testimonial sits in that same range Correct. of 276 down to 200 as well my first question goes how far were they backing up these parts but at the same time i bet this is a common theme isn't it yes it is because a lot of the, a lot of the programmers aren't machinists they're not out on the floor so you have two different people in there what you'll see is they'll they'll come out and they'll check the, the programs with the machinists and they're like uh i've got to clear this part well, the programmers inside just see the part, they don't see the machine. So what we tend to do is you'll run the simulation, run the optimization, you can actually see in the digital world where they're running into the part, where they're gonna crash it. So a lot of times the programmers just program a safe retract um, more than what they need. Um, that's what our air cutting, that's where we can help find inefficiencies in the program. Well, Tim, now you've struck a ton of conversations for me, but let's talk more about the actual software and capabilities, because when I hear these, I play the role of a skeptic oftentimes, especially when I'm learning from smart people, because the more I question, the more I get to learn. Right. So playing the role of a skeptic, I hear these details of these percentages and this time savings and the general concept of retracting so far, and, and it can be fixed. It can't be easy to do as well. It must be no, complicated, it, right? It is. And a lot of the complications that we see are just people that they don't believe the times. They don't believe the percentages, right? Um, what, so what we do is we do, we'll run demos for them. Um, we can bring them in and, and show customers an ROI on this simula uh, simulation software and kind of prove to them um, firsthand how we can help them. Um, what you tend to see is a lot of the inefficiencies come to light. And so then questions start being asked of, well, how can we eliminate this? Do we really need the software? Do we really need the programmers to run it this way or this way? So it does create a lot of, I don't want to say animosity, but it does bring to light some of the inefficiencies that their programmers are struggling with. Maybe they just don't know. Um, so we help eliminate that as much as we can. Look, animosity or not, if I'm in a machine shop and I'm saving that percentage of time, I don't care, you know, we're, we're making things better. And isn't that what we all want at the end of the day is to make Absolutely. things better? And we haven't even touched on the fact of something like a spree coming in and reducing the actual cut time, which happens all the time as well. We're focused today on just understanding what happens in between a programming and an actual machine time and that that retract space and then truly understand it's not a full machine monitoring as I would understand it, but it is monitoring what's going on inside of that machine, yes. right? So can yeah. we kind of break down this software? It's been around, what, three, four years now, I believe? Yep. So let's break down the software and what people can do with it who are interested in saving time and making money, which right. is probably everyone. Right, everybody else, right? <laughs> yeah. So NC Simo looks at the actual G-code so it's running, it's gonna verify the G-code, it's gonna find out if there's any um, errors in your programming, it's gonna look at where it can save on air cutting, um, it's gonna to look to uh, verify any of the uh, syntax errors, so it eliminates the syntax errors. Then what it does is it runs it back through the simulation, it checks on machine kinematics, it looks into um, part to tool to tool holder, so it's check, doing the collision checking as well. 
Um, and then once all that's verified, it runs it through the optimization the third time, you're good to go. Then after that, pass it to your CAM system um, and create the program. So let's pretend for a second that I am said shop that we have not named today that saved 76 hours on the 276 hour part. And I have decided, which is very obvious, that implementing it immediately, I've already paid for the system. I've already paid for the software, yep. right? How easy is it for me to understand internally without having you come in to visit me all the time? How easy is it for my team to understand and work and program and fix all future programs moving forward? With that, we do the we do um, we can do a couple things. We can do an ROI for you. Um, we actually will uh, monitor our customers. We'll uh, follow back up with them in a couple months. Make sure the results that we proved that we could get to them are getting or what they're getting. Um, so there's a couple of different follow-ups that we do. But as far as providing the results and stuff with the demo and through the ROI is is basically how we can confirm all that for you. Man, I'd be, love to be a, a fly on the wall, is a spider on the wall, a fly on the wall in some of these <laughs> meetings when the eyes must open up to what's actually happening in their shop. We've said this before, we'll say it again. When it comes to knowing, in my air quotes as we're doing right now, a lot of us think that we know. We think that we're running a fine, finely tuned oiled machine in our machine shops, right? right? The entire... Yep. Uh, organization is running smoothly. Even the best of us think that, and every day we find out something, thanks to someone like Hexagon, about how I can be better, how I can do more, how I can be more efficient. So even just a call to you guys saying, let's see, is a good idea. Absolutely. We have a solution for any pain point that you have in your shop. I got a pain point in my back due to all my flights and everything. Can you help me with that as well? Absolutely. I got a, I got a guy for you. You got a guy that knows a guy? <laughs> Absolutely. Tim, thank you so much, thank my you. friend. Thank you for educating the audience. One more time, just to repeat it, because this is what we do. What's the name of this so everyone can remember? It's NC Simmel. NC Simmel. This is exactly what you want to look into. This is my buddy, Tim. I have his business card. I'll pass it to you. Let us know. Leave it in the comments. Give Tim a direct call. He loves personal cell calls, front door visits, everything in his house, right? Absolutely. We're in Novi. <laughs> We're in, he's already giving it away. He's playing along with me. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you again soon. This is Hexagon.